thank you. Um, Martha and Jim, you were both playing some very uh, big players in the Shakespeare's story historically. How did you prepare for that? Um, I well, didn't actually prepare. I, I didn't. I didn't. I just played. I played Anne as the character she was written as, basically. Um, yeah, I don't think I did just any. A bath and a glass of wine. Yeah. Read the script. She, uh, the way she's written it is that she's um, had enough of, of Bill's kind of crazy ideas and wants him to settle down and be a family man. So I kind of, yeah, I just played that really. Mm. Is that wrong? Play what you're given. Yeah. Is that wrong? It's not wrong, is it? No, I don't think so. No, it's no. all right. Why are you yeah. looking at me like this? <laughs> <laughs> I was just seeing what yeah, you were going to say. Yeah, how I prepare. <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. With Marlowe, I, it, the, the character, he's, he, he is sort of surrounded with so much mystery, apart from kind of one mm. thing that we all know about and that we deal with in, in the film. So it was, actually very, it was actually quite fun sort of filling in the gaps, really, and inventing a character who who, um, you know, we have sort of key points of his life. We know that sort of he's, he's kind of, he's, he's a mysterious character, so it was a lot of fun to, to fill in the gaps. <laughs> and you do it so well. Thank you. Um, as actors, did it feel a little bit wrong to be taking the mickey out of the, the icon that is Shakespeare? No. Not at all, because I think he would have approved. Oh. I think, um, uh, you know, Shakespeare himself wrote historical plays, you know, and I'm sure um, not everything he said about, for example, Richard III mm. was true. He <laughs> took dramatic license, never let facts get in the way of a good story. And uh, he, and we've kind of done the same in a way with Shakespeare. We've gone, we know these facts, he left Stratford, and we know the fact he, he ended up being um, a playwright at the court of Queen Elizabeth. And then so we just, uh, Fill in the gaps in a very creative, interesting way, which is which is what he did. Yeah, absolutely. Um, would you all be so kind as to do an impression of Walsingham? Walsingham. Uh, <laughs> Everyone knows you hide in plain sight. <laughs> that was a slightly. <laughs> that was him mixed with shouty man, wasn't it? Mm. Was it? No, oh, I think he talks like this. Yeah. Although I can't. No, Edward Fox. they have no spine. Ooh, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, yeah, you, yeah, you do it. Yeah. Kermit the Frog. <laughs> it's Louis Armstrong. It's like girl. Rory Bremner. I know. It's amazing. I'm a girl. What do you want me to say? Hi, Larry. Larry? Larry? Yeah. <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is that you? Yeah, Martha's next door. Uh, um, sorry for that. I had that's okay. That's right. um, if you could play any Shakespeare character uh, comically like this or straight, what would you choose? Hamlet, the Dane. Yeah. Um, I think. Um, give a sort of interpretation, kind of horrible histories interpretation of Hamlet would be quite fun. Mm. I loved. I like Tommy and Shrews. Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving that a bash. I like to do a comedic um, Richard the Third. You know. <laughs> Um, Hasn't that already been done? Is it? Who's done it? Mm, I you. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> but not a Shakespeare. No, but version. not as yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, actually yeah. do it. You know, yeah. now is the winter of our discontent. Well, now everyone's heard that. You never know. Do you? Well, yeah, yeah. Might, might, yeah, might get snapped off. Yeah, um, it's gone now. <laughs> the internet has it. Um, if you were around in Elizabethan times, what do you think your station in life would be? What would you be doing? Mm. Um, I'd be collecting bodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably a minstrel of some kind. Oh yeah, you'd be a, a jester. A jester, definitely. Or yeah. a uh, yeah, I'd be some sort of kind of servant man. Mm -hmm. Maybe, mm. maybe yeah, a messenger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be uh, probably a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's an easy way to make some money. Yeah, this is true. Um, this is true. You know, you get to hang around the court a bit. I think you could be an innkeeper because you like yeah, yeah. Know that barman. Hey, barman. barman. A barman, yeoman, coming right up. <laughs> um, do you have a favourite memory on set? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.
There was one moment when we were uh, doing the the bit where the goons are backstage about to go on stage to do the musical number, and Simon says, "All day breakfast, fish and chops," and that <laughs> made me laugh. That uh, that though. was a struggle. That one. That was a struggle. Strike a light. Strike a light. <laughs> Sausage and yeah. mash cup no, yeah. There was loads of we did a, we did a Shepherd's few options, pie yeah. connect four. <laughs> connect four. Uh, yeah. Pint to your best British. <laughs> yeah. No, so many, many fun, fun oh memories. Good. Yeah. It sounds like it was great fun and congratulations. It's a, it's a riot. What's the right word? It's, it's amazing. Right. Riot's right. a great, great. Oh, Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Like Thank, Thank you, you so very much. Cheers. Much.